Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a little bit of nesting. I'm gonna do some cleaning, organizing, and decorating. I have this giant cup of water that I have been working on throughout the day and refilling. Because, if you don't already know, you can't really see here, but I am 40 weeks and one day pregnant today. <laughs> So yesterday was my due date and I'm one day past my due date and I have been told the best thing I can do right now besides eat well and rest is to stay lightly active but don't overdo it. So that's kind of where I am right now is just trying to keep myself busy and getting things done around the house and whatnot but not overdoing it. I have my homebody forever um, long sleeve t-shirt on. This is from my Etsy shop, which is currently closed for my maternity leave, but is opening up on Black Friday for um, a big sale. So if you have an Instagram account, make sure you click on the link below and go and follow my Etsy Instagram so that you know when the Black Friday sale starts, it will be on Black Friday. And if you want to get one of these or, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have a frog in my throat or something else, you can. Anyway, so here's the deal. So I still literally have spring decor up. I put a spring decorate with me up, and then like I put up hydrangea, and it's still sitting on my fireplace. Because, um, I don't know, because I don't know, because I've been pregnant and I just it's not been a priority. Um, but now that I have the time, and I'm feeling good today, I'm feeling, you know, I've gotten a good night's sleep, I figure I would like to decorate our house for fall. We just have one bin of fall decor and just sprinkle a few touches because this baby girl is coming, obviously, in the fall. And um, it's it would be fun for our house to reflect that, you know, as we're taking pictures with her and things like that. I definitely wanna do a little bit of tidying. Our house is clean. It is not, it's not dirty. It doesn't need to be like wiped down, but it needs to be um, organized. The kitchen could probably use a wipe down. So that's the story, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take you with me, pull out the fall decor, and um, set it up around the house a little bit, do a little bit of tidying, just a little bit of nesting, staying lightly active, but not overdoing it. Here's my fall decor bin, and it typically includes these things, but I pulled them all out last night to wash them. So these are my fall dish towels, and I have some mustard. Let me adjust my lighting so maybe it's a little bit more accurate. It's showing up a lot brighter yellow on camera than it is in real life. It's very mustard, darker mustard. There, that's more accurate. Um, mustard, and then this is like burnt orange again, showing up a little brighter. Maybe that's a little bit better. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, I have two of these velvet orange ones, and then four, I think four of the mustard ones. And then I used to, in my Etsy shop, sell pillowcases, pillow covers, I don't anymore because they were the biggest pain of all time. So unfortunately those are not coming back anytime soon. And um, then I have a big fall blanket with a fall pattern on it. And then I have, I already have my Halloween candy ready to go. I have absolutely been digging into this. <laughs> Well, not really digging in, because look, it's still full. Um, but I just have a little piece or two every once in a while. Um, this is some, I guess it's wheat, right? That goes um, on the mantle, or at least last year I put it on the mantle. I have like a give thanks sign. I really like that. That was from Big Lots last year, I think. Really inexpensive, just a few bucks. I have these pumpkin placemats. I don't think, I think these are... These are several years old. I think it's probably time to donate those. I don't really use those anymore. I have the Mrs. Myers apple dish soap and the apple cider. Um, they're both apple cider. I don't know why I said apple. I meant to say apple cider. Hand soap, which I absolutely love. And I actually have a couple more of their soaps um, out on a shelf in my garage that I'll pull out to put around the house. This is a blanket. This goes in here. Um, and this will go up in the front room. It's sort of like a really dark burnt orange with like specks of red and things. If you can kind of tell. It's pretty. 
I'm a very traditional decorator when it comes to colors. I love when I see on Instagram and people do like all white pumpkins or teal pumpkins or, you know, for Christmas they do different colors, but I tend to really, I'm just a traditionalist. Like for Christmas I really like gold and red and green and for fall I really like to use the orangey tones and mustard tones, um, even though I really like when other people do it differently. Um, I have a couple of things of napkins, which I don't know exactly what to do with. These are candles. I was going to say, I don't know why I saved this, but this seems to have leaked. I should have put that. That was goofy. I can't believe I didn't put that in a bag last year, so I'm going to have to get rid of that. It must have been... Um, it must have been full. I love this little foxy guy. And then I have this little pumpkin um, bowl. I think I filled that with candy corn last year. I don't care for candy corn, but I think it's really pretty, so I could totally put that out. It wouldn't even be a temptation. These are candles, and then I have these placemats as well that I could put out that are more kind of harvesty fall. So not too much stuff, just a few things to sprinkle around. It would also be great if I have the time to run up to the grocery store and buy a couple of actual pumpkins and maybe a pot of mums for the front porch. That would be great. So we'll see. We'll see what we have time to do. The first step of this journey is <laughs> is going to be to tidy up my kitchen. We were cooking last night and um, both of us, we just were exhausted so we ended up going to sleep. So that's gonna be my first, my first step is to clean it up and then we can get to putting a few little things around the kitchen maybe um, that are sort of folly. All right, the kitchen is clean. That took quite a while. It was in need of a good scrub down. So the first thing we're gonna do is switch out for our fall hand soap, dish soap, and countertop spray. All this stuff is from Grove Collaborative and I'll put these away to save because um, they both have some left for when fall is over. This you can hook up to a filtered water system, but we have filtered water in our fridge, so it ends up, we just end up putting it like that. We could get rid of it, we don't care that much. Anyway, all right, so I got that, that done. Next, let's do the towel. Okay, get rid of this. This is from Grove as well. This video is not sponsored by Grove. I just buy all of my home stuff from there. Perfect. This one can go in the wash. And this one I will put to the side for when this one gets dirty. Oh, it's so cute. Little fall. All right, I finished cleaning up the kitchen. And um, I think the only two things I'm going to do with regards to fall decor in the kitchen are just the towel and the um, hand soap countertop spray and uh, dish soap, which aren't really decorations, but I figure our kitchen needs to be extremely functional, especially right now. So that is the story. I'm sorry if you can hear a humming sound. We have our dishwasher going, and then I also am washing some laundry. So there's lots going on. Right now I'm folding, these just came out of the dryer. I'm folding all of our um, kitchen towels and cleaning rags. And this sign, it was an exclamation point. It looks like it's, if you can't read it, it says, we can't wait to meet you, baby lamb. And there was an exclamation point on the bottom, but now it looks like it's from that episode of The Office where the sign says, it is your birthday, because it's just a period at the end. 
we can't wait to meet you baby lamb <laughs> so that's kind of goofy um after i fold these i am going to tidy up our den which just need uh, we just were watching the football game in there last night so there's just blankets and pillows strewn about so that's not going to take long at all and then I'm going to flip some of those pillow covers, switch out some of the pillow covers that are in there to um, some of the fall ones. And if I can, and maybe do the mantle, yeah, maybe I'll do the mantle and get that to be a little bit more fallish. Um, it is such a weird feeling being in late pregnancy and just not knowing when the baby's gonna come because she could just like I could just start feeling things stirring up and start feeling um, contractions in two minutes right now you know whatever it's just a very weird thing so far I really haven't had any symptoms barely at all other than nausea I've been waking up um, and having nausea in the middle of the night which is very very weird um has was super common in early pregnancy for me but i haven't had since then and so i don't know what that's about but i googled it and it turns out that nausea is a common thing toward the end so who knew you learn something new every day i feel like my second if i'm able to get pregnant again which i hope and pray that we are i don't know when and we do not know how many kids we want um, those are all things that we will have to, we're just going to start with one <laughs> and then we will decide. Um, we would like at least two kids, but I don't know if we want more than, we don't know. And we don't know how close together we want them. Like we really, we really don't know. But I would imagine the second time around, although, um, I bet physically it could be more challenging if. I'm chasing around a toddler and then also being pregnant and maybe being nauseous and whatever other pregnancy symptoms come along. I feel like mentally maybe it would be, well, I think for sure, I think it would be a little bit easier because the unknown is such a weird thing. And even though no two births are the same, at least I would have some semblance of a framework for what birth looks like <laughs> rather than just having read books and listen to birth stories and stuff so that, that'll be interesting you have to let me know if you are a mom of more than one child if your subsequent pregnancies on the mental and emotional scale were a little bit more low-key because you were just more relaxed or like more seasoned waiting to go into labor and stuff like that most of my friends all of my friends here in Gainesville have multiple kids in the town that we live in multiple children and so they um, they're all super super relaxed about birth and relaxed about um, going into labor and stuff like that look at this belly it looks crazy um, which is actually been amazing for me to be around because that's those are the kind of people I'm around all the time are people who are who have three kids four kids are extremely relaxed about it who you know have just like they've just been so, it's been such a good environment to be pregnant in because I'm around people who are just relaxed um, and none of them have been like badgering me and constantly asking if I'm in labor they've just been super supportive and it's been really nice so it is there are times when it's hard it has been hard over the past four years of living here being the only one without children um but now that i'm joining this mom club it's been really nice to have people who have a bunch of kids because they have just been so relaxed about my pregnancy which has made me be relaxed which is good for the, me good for the baby it's good for everything anyway this is probably a mess right now because there's like nothing in it. This is where I store all 
of our towels. These are all, like I said, um, like kitchen towels. So let me put them all in here. I like having them stored like this because when they're sitting on the top of the fridge, can you see up here? I can just go like this and I can easily grab one. Um, whenever we need whenever we need one because we use them we probably go through two a day which sounds crazy but um, I just really like to have fresh towels I don't like when towels start getting that funky smell no 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 this is the apron I need to put oh hit myself in the face I need to put a hook on the back I need to put a hook in the um, in the pantry laundry room area to hang this because I use it quite a bit, but I store it in here and then I end up just like throwing it up in there after I use it. So this is a stuffed basket because it's completely full. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next thing. I'm gonna put these away and then we'll move on. I like the way that looks. It's cute and fallish on both sides. Perfect. All right, let's work on. Oh my goodness, Riley must be home or something. We are gonna do the mantle now. So I went for just a super simple mantle. I just swapped out the white candles for, they look really orange on camera. They're really kind of like a dark mustard color, kind of a dark mustardy orange. And, um, and then I put the uh, kind of wheat over here. And then this little give thanks and the little fox guy, I thought that looked nice. And so that's kind of all I'm doing in here. We spend a lot of time in here and I don't want it to be too visually cluttered, but um, just a few little fall touches around to make the room feel like it's October. All right, so it's it's still decorated for spring up here. Um, if you watch that video about decorating for spring, like I put this up and the blue pillows and the pink candle and that pink bowl. And so this room we have some big plans for, but we just haven't gotten around to it. It's not a priority right now. So. We're just gonna flip out the pillows for fall pillows. Um, and then we'll go from there, just flip a few things around. But I was more interested in the back room because we spend a lot more time back there. All right, so up here I just added the mustard pillow covers, the grateful, grateful, grateful pillow cover, and um, the kind of burnt orange reddish little blanket. And then on this table, I added a picture of my mom and my sister and I when it was October, I don't know what year. I look like I'm maybe four or five, and Allie looks about two, that's about right, and then a candle. So just again, very simple, we're not trying to overdo it because we know we're gonna have to put all this away when we decorate for Christmas and we're gonna have a newborn. And there's Charlie Bear. All right, Riley's home from work. We decided to make a trip to Walmart to get a couple of fall decor items like mums and pumpkins and things like that. And then there's like a couple of other things we wanna grab before the baby comes. Get all the grass. And there's grackles everywhere. All right, we're looking at the mums. This one's really pretty. 
I like this one. Let's do this one because it's not all the way in bloom yet. That one's super pretty. And I like the thing it comes in. Yeah, that's nice. I actually have a really good selection. Oh, these are pretty too. All right, we found the pumpkins and we got a big one, a medium one, and a baby one for the three members of our family. Unfortunately, Charlie doesn't get any. Hey guys, we just got back from the store and um, I'm gonna head outside and do our fall front porch and then that will wrap up this video. So here's what the outside looks like. We have that wreath that's from Walmart. The no soliciting sign is from Etsy. And then down here we have our mums and our three pumpkins for Riley, me, and the baby. And a little welcome mat. So it's perfect out here. And that is gonna wrap up this vlog. I hope you enjoyed doing a little bit of cleaning and um tidying and decorating for fall with me while we wait on this little girl to make her grand appearance sometime in the next few days charlie what do you think Are you ready for her to come out anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate a thumbs up if you want to leave me a comment i would love to read it and make sure to subscribe for more i'll talk to you guys soon bye